it's interesting to uh to think about this program in particular um and just how much is going on because we're just 13 days away yeah. from the biggest pay-per-view of all time what was your expectation for starcade at this point my expectation was it was going to be the biggest thing i'd ever been a part of wow i really thought that i mean i, I mean god hogan and yeah and sting um, yeah, does this feel uh, like the biggest run of your career at this point? When you look back and you think about the high points, is this, is this maybe it this era? Yeah. Yeah. Be because of the ratings we, I mean, I would, I would look on, um, entertainment weekly. We subscribed to entertainment weekly back then. Uh, I don't even know if they're still having entertainment weekly because basically it turned into a a rag but back then we would look entertainment weekly and they would have a section where they would have the top rated cable shows and we were like a number of a couple of times number one right and i would look at that and i remember looking at that and showing it to lois i said can you believe this so i i i realized you know how big we were back then and that's why it's hard to fathom why we went down and i think bobby uh kf5 gtx on our chat said the reason that wcw went down was because of brad siegel and jamie kellner and their dirty ass deals and bobby's probably right in in reality wcw went down because it was owned by a television company and not a was not its own ent entity in other words, I think if let's say let's say that this company right now was owned by Eric Bischoff, right. I think it would I think it would have had a, a bigger shelf life. Because look at this. It's owned, let's say it's let's say WCW in 1997 is owned by Eric Bischoff. Right. And they're coming to the end of a contract, right? Right. You think there's other cable systems that are wouldn't want to pick up WCW for all the numbers it's doing. Of course we were locked in. Yeah. So that's, that's the reason we failed. I mean, there are many reasons we failed, but that's the main reason. And that's why, you know, when I, uh, I, I don't know what, I don't know the business dealing that is going on because to be honest with you, I don't stay up with it, but there was a time when the big rumor was Disney was going to buy the WWE. Or maybe Fox was going to buy the WWE. I don't know. You probably know more about it now than I do. And I remember thinking, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. A wrestling company has to own wrestling and then bring it out. It's just like the shows on Netflix, right? They're not owned by Netflix. They're, they're production companies. Right. So they'll sell their show to Netflix. That's the only way it can work. So that's why I think when there's a lot of naysayers out there that say that, oh, AEW is the next WCW, bullshit. We're not. Oh, fans getting in the ring. Take a look at that. Yeah. Was, was Savage all over that shit or what? Yeah, buddy. He was ready. And a fan got a little man wanting to be a big man. The way it always is. As the action continues, a double axe handle blow. Another night in the crowbar Hilton. <laughs> Just part of the madness that surrounds Randy Savage. No doubt about that. Ain't that, was, that, was great, that was a great. That was a great job by Tanay and, and uh, Bobby Heenan trying yeah. to cover and yeah bring it back in. Yeah, they were really good, and it's a shame that neither one of them felt like they could trust you or that you liked them. <laughs> you know, just. That's Maybe. all. A, that's all a fucking piece of shit lie. <laughs> I like when I mean every now and again you yeah. can tell when I actually hit a nerve and it gets <laughs> under your skin and talking about Bobby Heenan that'll do yeah. it. Yeah, boy. 